Hello lovely, my name is Mindy, welcome back to The Manor. Today is episode one of Project Pan. So excited. This is my very first uh, project pan that I'm filming. Uh, my very first project pan that I did was last year and I really enjoyed the process. And so this year, now I have a channel I'd like to take you along with me. If you don't know what a project pan is and you want some more information in regards to why I'm doing it um, and what it is, I did upload a little introductory video earlier this week. So I will link that I think it comes up here. So if you haven't seen that, go and watch and make sure you come back. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> so now you understand what a project pan is. We are going to get straight into the products I've chosen for this year. If you haven't watched my introductory video because you already know what a project pan is, I will be doing a 12 month rolling project pan. I'm not for, you know, having this become a chore. So if there is a product, that I am sick of using or I've reached my particular goal, I will roll a product in, roll a product out. I will tell you about that when that happens in my check-ins. So today is introducing you to the products. I am a little bit off screen because here I will be uploading some photos of close-ups of the product for you um, so you can get a real view of where it's at. So number one, we are Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I had this in my project pan last year and my goal was to hit pan, which I did. You will probably see it better in this photo right here because editing magic. I just have a goal to make the pan bigger. I don't have like a certain diameter or anything I want to reach. I really enjoy using this powder. This is actually the only pressed powder I own. And when I was like younger, getting into makeup in high school, this is what I used. I used only Rimmel products because I wanted to be loyal to a brand. I would just put um, foundation, which was a matte foundation, this powder, a bit of bronzer, which I've also um, repurchased now I'm getting back into makeup and love it. Just very convenient that I picked good products back then. This is a real tangent. Let's get back onto Project Pan. I'm excited to use this powder. I was really excited when I hit pan and I just want to make that a little bit bigger. So we'll check in next month. As I said, I don't have an exact goal of how big I want the pan to be. So we will just play it by ear and when I'd like to roll that out, we shall. But yeah, it'd be exciting to see some more progress on that. Second product is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages Ageless, not Ageist ageless foundation which is in this little pot and I love this I really love this I've gotten I've recently discovered like CoverGirl has some really really great product here in Australia we don't get you know the whole range of everything yeah I was really excited to pick this one up and give it a go because all my foundations are you know like the standard liquid foundation whereas this one has a little bit more and again I will put a photo up here for you it's a little bit more like a cream formula in a pot like it's not a powder it's still that creamy consistency but it's not a full liquid so my goal on this one is just to hit pan which means I want to see the bottom through here yeah so when the I've taken a photo and I'm pretty sure I took a little video of this one as well so you can see like what the dip currently looks like so yeah, I, what I'd like to do is be able to see the bottom of the pan, the bottom of the little container. That's my goal. Hmm. This is a really beautiful foundation, by the way. I have picked products that I really enjoy using because I don't want to, you know, get sick of reaching for them. So all these products are pretty much some of my top ones. 
The next product in uh, the project pan is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. This was the concealer that I briefly talked about in my introduction, if you did watch that, um, which I would like to finish up. That's my goal, is to use it completely. It's a little bit hard to take a photo of where I'm at at the moment. There's so little product in here that even when I put it against a light, it's quite hard to kind of determine how much is in there. So I'm not sure if I'll maybe take a photo or even like a video. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that one's going to work. And I've heard that if you take, apparently there's like a stopper. Apparently if you take that out, you can reach some more product. And I will have to think about that one. Anyway, my goal is to completely use this up. If you did watch my introduction, it's your first time doing this. I always like to throw in like an easy one. I know I'm going to use this up so I can reach a goal and tick that off, which is exciting. Uh, next we have my Mecca Max Lip Liner. This is in Fancy. Now I've got a bit of a different goal to this one. I don't want to use it up completely. I really love this lip liner. What I'd like to do, and I'll put a little photo up for you as well, this is how long it is at the moment. What I want to do is get to the X at the end of Mecha Max, so my goal is to use this much of it. Yeah, so when I get to that point, I will decide if I'd like to keep it in and keep using it till another point, or maybe I might like to replace it with a different lip liner. I'm also going to put a photo up here of how I've measured this one. So I think I did kind of briefly explain in my introduction what I've done is put it at the edge of the paper, marked where it is at the moment. What I've also done is marked my goal so I can see how long I've got to go and then I can see that, um, you know, decreasing as we go along. So yeah, as I said, don't really want to use it up because I love it, so I don't want it to leave me. But um, yeah, it needs some love. You know those products, I don't know if you're like me, but I do have a big collection and those products that I really, really, really love, I don't want to lose them. So sometimes I tend to not reach for them, which is not right. If you love a product, you should be using it. So this is why I love Project Pants. And the very last thing I'm going to put in is my MAC lipstick in the shade Modesty. Now, I only got into makeup. This is where I was going on my tangent before, is when I was a teenager, I wore makeup, but like a minimal amount of it. And then I kind of went off it and I didn't wear makeup for the longest time. And then at the age of 30, I don't know what it was, I got a new job and I really enjoyed putting my makeup on to go there. And then all of a sudden I was a person who wore makeup and now I'm a person who has too much makeup. It's fine. The end of that story is this is like the very first higher end lipstick that I bought. So this, I, I'm not sure if I said this is in the shade Modesty. It holds a special place with me being my very first one and it is literally the first one. So I am turning 33 in July, 33, yeah. So what that means is I got into makeup at the age of 30. I'm almost 33 and I probably got this maybe like 12 months in when I kind of understood what colors I like, what things I like before I would spend that little bit of an extra um, on a high end product. So this is my first purchase from Mecca. It's so special. Anywho, I don't want it to expire before I use it because it's so beautiful. So same thing again, if I've got a special product, if I've got one that I love, I tend to not reach for it so it doesn't leave me. But you can always repurchase a product that you love, so it's okay to use it. Alright, so I'm going to put a picture up of how I measured this one, very similar to how I do the lip liner. Um, but it's this beautiful, perfect pinky nude. Mm. Just like your lips, but better. When I first got into makeup, I was kind of testing what colors worked for me. I was understanding like my complexion, my undertones, what worked well with that. This is just a really beautiful, cool toned. I lean more towards like a pinky beige than a brownie beige. And it was just, it's just the perfect color the perfect nude for my lips and I don't use it often enough and also with this lip liner god they match beautifully let me show you let's do a little swatch here 
Now I've told you I'm not the best with getting this camera to focus, so let's see how I go. The lip liner is just a little bit darker. There we go. Ooh. Okay, so the trick is just to hold it there for a minute, and now I've got to wait till it refocuses. Hi. I'm here. Thanks, camera. Yeah, so the lip liner is slightly darker, slightly more pinker. And then, yeah, that lipstick is just my lips, but better. So, I'm excited to use that. That's it. I don't want to start with a crazy amount of product. That is five products. If next month I do a check-in and I want to roll something out, or maybe I want to add something because five isn't enough, but I, I find five comfortable. You can do this with as many or as little products as you like, but that makes me comfortable and I'm excited to use all these products. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to give you my very first update, uh, which will come at the end of February. What I'll do is I'll show you some progress shots of where I'm now up to with these products. And then I might show you some looks as well that I did with the products. Yeah, I am a massive fan. I'm sure you all know of Kelly Gooch here on YouTube. She is uh, a huge creator compared to my my little self. Um, but I adore her and I love all her content. But Project Panning, she is my queen. She is the queen of Project Pan. So if I can do Project Pan just a little bit of justice here on my channel, I'll be happy, but I will link her channel here below because you need to go and check her out. If you enjoy Project Pan content and you haven't heard of her before, where you been? Go have a look. She's divine. Okay, well that is it from me today. I will see you at the end of next month to give you some progress, but I will see you next week for another video. Bye!